Hello everyone, welcome back. So today's video I am going to discuss about what is the difference between error, defect, bug and failure. Okay, so in general we use these terms whenever the systems or applications act abnormally. So sometimes we call it call it an error, sometimes it's bug, sometimes we call it as a defect, like that. So many of the newbies in the software testing industries have confusing in using these four terms. Okay, so what is the difference between error, defect, bug, failure? This is the one of the most important interview questions while you are a freshers. So generally there is a contradiction in the usage of this four terminology. So today's video, video I am going to clear all of your confusions about these four terms. So let's start this video. First, what is error? Okay, so whenever the developer mistake in their coding level right so developer developer when developer develop developing any any application uh, they have to written they have to write many coding okay so if developer mistake in their coding level okay so for that reason if we cannot compile or run any program and if a developer unable to successfully compile or run a program then they call it as a error they means the developer the developer call it as an error that means what is the full definition of error we cannot compile or run a program due to coding mistakes in a program okay so if a developer unable to successfully compile or run a program then they call it as an error and in that in the software engineering okay so in the software tester in the software engineering the error has two definitions one is the programming mistake and another is error expected from customer now we have to know that what is the programming mistake as i have already told you that what is the programming mistake when developer developing any software they, they have to write many lines of code to make the software so that is the program that is the coding so programming mistake means in the coding level if the developer mistakes something like they have written some incorrect looping formula they have written some wrong syntax okay so that is a programming mistake so i i know you guys have already seen that that uh, how the code will looks like okay now second point is that error expected from customer now what is that what is that term meaning error expected from customer means i am giving on very basic simple example let's say let's say this is my one applications okay and in this application let's say uh, this is one username field and this is one password field and this is one login button so i am giving the name of that it is the username and this is the let's say password and this is the suppose login now what is that what is the meaning what is the meaning of error expected from customer suppose if any user they are clicking on the login button without putting any username or password data okay that means if any user clicking on the login button but they are not putting the username and password then what will happen if you guys already seen that and i i know that you have faced the same situations whenever you are putting any user whenever whenever you are not putting any username and not putting any password and directly clicking on the login button some extra required message should be shown here in that here or here the message should be shown like that uh, that you have entered incorrect username or password or username or password should be required like that message should be shown here so that is the 
error expected from customer so we have to uh, if we don't put anything on that username or password field some mandatory fields required message should be shown here okay so that is the error expected from customer so now we have a very clear idea that what is error so error means when the developer developing any code or any program if they have mistake in that in their coding level or in their programming level so that's for that reason they are i mean developer are unable to successfully compile or run that program then the developer called it as a error now clear i am going to the second that is defect what is defect defect means the variations between the actual results and expected results is known as a defect now what is actual results and what is expected results this two term is very very important and in our whole testing life maximum time we are we will be use this two term that is my actual results that is my expected results now i am giving you a very very easy way to understand that what is actual results and what is expected results let's say just giving one example let's say this is my applications and in this applications suppose client has suppose this is one client the this is one customer customer now this customer has requested to make this type of application to any company so this is one company let's say this is one company okay so this is one company now means the customer has given some certain requirements to that company to make this software right so the customer requirement is that if any one they have filled their username they have filled their password and they, if they click you on the login button let's say page should be redirect to the suppose uh, home page suppose this is a home page okay so this is the client requirement this is a customer requirement so if anyone they put their username if they put their password then click on login button then page should be redirect to the home page but that means it's a it's a expected result client is expecting or customer is expecting that if anyone is clicking on the login button with valid username and valid password then page should be redirected to the home page so this is the customer requirement means customer is expecting that this company will develop like this okay so that's why it's a call as expected result means it is totally coming the expect i mean the expectation from the client end or customer end so that's why it's called as a expected results okay so this is a expected results now what is actual results actual results means so the developer developed this software the developer developed this software by applying the customer requirement and as a tester we are going to test this application we are going to test this application by applying this same customer requirement so whenever we are testing or whenever any test engineer is testing that application and he and he or she they um, he put the uh, valid username and valid password and clicking on the and click on the login button and instead of home page then one new page will open or one new page is opening like two types of page will open one is suppose one 404 page is appearing one 404 page is appearing that means there is no data in this page 404 page or error page like that or suppose or maybe instead of home page suppose some um, sign up page is opening suppose some sign up page is opening that means the client requirement or the customer expectation was that after clicking on the login button that home page will be open but instead of that when we are testing the applications and whenever we are clicking on the login button then either one sign up page is open instead of that home page any page is opening or any 404 404 or any blank page is opening that means 
whenever in actually whenever we are testing their application we are getting some different results that means there is some difference between expected results and actual results so actual results whenever we are testing any applications that time we are if we are getting any result that is called actual results so actual result means if we clicking on the login button and home page is opening that's actual results this is one scenario maybe that is the uh, that means the software is working perfectly fine we are clicking on the login button as a test engineer whenever we are testing we are clicking on the login button and home page is opening that is the one thing that is one actual results or maybe whenever we are testing some 404 or some blank page is opening so that's a one type of actual results or whenever we are clicking on the login button some sign up page is opening or some different page is opening okay so that is one type of actual results so actually whenever any tester or anyone is testing their applications and whatever result he is he getting or see or any test engineer or anyone is getting that is nothing but called actual result okay so now we are very much clear about those these two things what is actual results and what is expected results now what is defect the variations or the differences between the actual results and expected results is known as a defect so whenever we are testing any applications if we find any mismatch between the actual results and expected results then we can tell that it's a defect okay now coming to the next or we can say that so defect we can tell that so the variation between the actual results and expected result is known as a defect that is the thing and apart from that if any developer find any issues and he or she fix that issue by himself or herself in his development phase so in his development phase two things two thing is there in the defect act whenever when uh, the variation between the actual results or expected results is known as a defect it may be from the testing end whenever any tester is testing that application and he has some differences between the actual results and expected results then it's called as a defect and apart from that if any developer find any issues and that developer fix that issue by herself or himself in his development phase then also we can call this as a defect okay so defect is coming from either developer end or tester end so whenever developer is develop whenever developer is developer find any issue then he can uh, fix that issue by himself in the development phase then that issue we can tell that as a defect or in the testing phase the variation between the actual results and expected results is also known as a defect now clear now i'm coming to the next point is that is a what is bug okay now tester find any mismatch in the applications or system in his testing phase okay so if tester find any mismatch in the applications or system in his testing phase then that tester is called as a bug okay now what is the definition what is the defect definition i told that two thing one is the variation between actual results and expected result is known as defect and apart from that if developer find any issue in his development phase and he or she fixed by himself or herself in the development phase is nothing but called as a defect same thing is happening on the bug also so defect is totally from the is coming from the developer end and bug is coming from the tester end so if tester find any mismatch in the applications in his testing phase then the tester is tester called it as a called it as a bug that means two things are the same so that's how we can tell that bug is an informal name for the defect bug is the informal name of the defect so different stage we can we can use the different name okay so development phase we can tell it as a defect and testing phase we can tell it as a bug so actually bug is an informal name for the defect so now guys you have very much clear about clear idea about what is defect and what is bug 
Okay, now coming to the fourth, that is failure. What is failure? Why once the product is deployed and customer find any issues, then they call the product as a failure product. Suppose our company, let's say our company, this is this is our company. So this is our company. The so company has developed that product, and after develop, the company has deployed that thing to the live environment deployed that thing to the live environment okay so then once the product is deployed and the customer find any issues then they call the total product as a failure product so after deployment when whenever it's in it's in whenever the product is product is deployed obviously the customer will check will test and in the customer testing page when they have find any issues then they call the total product the product as a failure product okay so after release if an end user find any issues then that particular issues make this num make this num as very clear with it so if an end user find any issues then that particular issue is called as a failure so now guys you have a very much clear about clear idea about what is failure product so failure product means once the product is deployed and customer find any issues then they call the product as a failure product and after release if an end user finds any issues then that particular issues then the particular issues is called as a failure okay so now we have a very much deep understanding about what is error what is defect what is bug and what is failure so if you guys have any doubt then comment me and if you guys like my video obviously one thumbs up and subscribe to my channel edupad and click on the bell icon so that you guys can update first my testing related videos okay so see you in the next video with the interesting topic thank you